channel, World of Brie VSG. Today I'm coming at you with my two month post op VSG surgery. Um, I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy on December 12, 2016, under Dr. Clark, who has his own clinic, Center for Weight Loss Success, here in Newport News, Virginia. I had the actual surgery in Hampton, Virginia, at Centera, I believe Centera Careplex hospital or something along those lines. We'll jump into stats. So my high weight before surgery was 279.4. Day of surgery was 276.6. Um, a month ago I was 243.6 and today I'm coming at you at 224.8 pounds. I am 4.8 pounds away from my pre-pre-pregnancy, my high school weight, all that good stuff. So, um, 220s were always like a comfort zone for me. If I got any lower, I was like, ooh, damn, I'm hot. <laughs> um, so that puts me at a monthly loss of 18.8 pounds, which is amazing. Like, I am doing great. I'm not really exercising still. I do try to get up and move around more. Um, I'm sure exercising will eventually come to my brain. Like all of my other diets, I wanted to work out. And I don't know what it is with this one that I just don't want to work out. So also, that puts me at a weekly loss of two pounds. Feeling fabulous. I'm feeling fabulous. So my weight loss since surgery is 51.8 pounds and 40, 40, yeah, 40, and 54.6 pounds since my high weight. So I can definitely say that this surgery is teaching me so many new things about my body, um, things that I didn't even know before, like even dieting before. I, my mindset was always, man, if I wasn't on this diet, I would be eating 10 Big Macs, which I don't even like Big Macs, but you know, when you're on a crazy diet and you start to crave crazy things. Um, so it's starting to teach me new things about my life and how my life doesn't have to revolve around food. I like that right now my mind isn't wrapped around food all the time anymore I'd say at first it definitely was I was like uh, food but now I'm like I really don't think about food that much I have to remind myself to eat if I don't get a growly stomach which is most days um, occasionally I'll get like the munchies and want a snack but I try to eat something high in protein and it just cuts that right off uh, jerky is my favorite right now. Hmm. Yes, jerky with some almonds. Just my life right there. Let's see. I am experiencing hair loss. Oh, not my favorite. Obviously, we can all see this beautiful blue color of my hair. Okay. I went to cosmetology school. Hair is my life. All right. This is the only thing like that makes me feel amazing hair has always been my one go-to throughout any time I was feeling down on myself as long as my hair looked good I look good okay so it's not bad right now like I don't know if you kind of see this like I'm definitely losing some hair in here which is causing this little gap in my bangs um and let me see I don't know if the lighting's good right here. Mine's definitely not as bad as some other people. So, I actually had started losing hair before surgery. So, this is my new growth from that. But, my hair along in this area is definitely thinning. I have thick hair. So, I don't think, as long as it doesn't shed more than it is, I should be good. Because my hair, when I used to wash it, I would just do this and it'd be like maybe one or two a few hairs and now when I wash it which guys I only wash my hair once a week gross yes but this blue don't stay this blue by washing it all the time okay 
So when I wash it now, I'm just kind of like scared because I definitely do get more chunks. Um, the first time it happened, this side was just coming out like I could not get it to stop. And then it kind of stopped after I got out of the shower. So now I'm like always afraid to wash my hair because it doesn't happen when I brush my hair, just when I wash it. So staying clean, guys, comes with a price. I definitely have experience. Dun, 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 dumping syndrome. Who wants that? Not me. I was, I got, I can't remember what I ate, but it definitely made me shaky and unhappy. My stomach was just not happy. And then it gave me some real bad um, back end issues. So I don't know what it is. I, it, sometimes my stomach just doesn't agree with food. Um... Let's see, let's get into the fun stuff. So, every other week, usually, um, when my husband's not working, I have some girlfriends out here, and we host dinner. So, it'll either be mine, their, or their house. So, um, we drink, and we make dinner, and it's fun. It's, it's a great time, and... I'm definitely getting to experience what being drunk feels like more often because, well, not more often, but faster because I never used to be a lightweight. I could out drink a lot of people and now I just can't. <laughs> so I definitely stopped drinking beer because it's carbonated. Um, I'm sure later on, like, maybe a year down the road, I can have beer again. A lot of people don't even wait that long. Um, I think as long as you're not drinking carbonated beverages on the regular or, like, regular soda, I think it's fine, just not a lot. Because I like the flavor of some beers, but I don't, I don't know. I kind of like that I'm not drinking beer because I really love mixed drinks. Um, another thing that's hard, shots, shot, 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 when friends call for shots and you're like, let's do it. And then you're like, no, I can only do half of this. I can only do half or I'm going to barf. Yeah, that's, that's not fun. Um, so I also, this month had my first restaurant experience. We went out to eat with my friend and her husband and their kids, we went to a Mexican restaurant. Um, I ordered a drink, which I probably shouldn't have, but they had these strawberry daiquiris that are to die for. So I ordered a drink, and then I couldn't really eat anything, so that sucked. So I was just kind of sitting there like, Ugh, and I'm like full off of this drink, and I've only drank like this much of it. But... I mean, I definitely don't think it was as awkward as I would have thought it would be. So that's a big plus. I would definitely like to go to a restaurant and actually order food that I'm going to eat next time. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I have been... I had posted a little thing about how I hurt my back. And I actually had hurt my back last year um it was before I considered surgery but I've always had lower back issues when I heard it last year I did go to the ER because I um actually pulled something and they had to put me on steroids and stuff ever since that I my back pains have gotten worse so because I, I literally a week or two ago, I think it was two weeks ago, I bent over to get laundry out of my dryer and fell to the floor. I was like, ah, oh, I just pulled something in my back again. So I have back problems and that's probably a big factor into why I haven't been working out. But I've been doing some stretches to try and get my lower back a little bit more limber. So I'm hoping that starts to help out. Mm -mm -mm. Another thing that has been going on with me is I've been having some body dysmorphia 
And if you don't know what that is, that's basically where you look in the mirror and all you can see are your flaws. And a lot of people go through this, but I feel like with all my other weight loss experiences, I would look in the mirror and be like, oh wow, I've really lost a lot of weight. And I would focus on like the areas that I lost weight in. And this time it's definitely different. I don't know if something's going on with my hormones making me go a little crazy, but I'm working through it. And after having two kids, your stomach just isn't the same. Body dysmorphia comes and goes, but that's a given. So I'm getting back to normal, definitely. Um, drinking lots of water, except for today. I don't know why I haven't been drinking a lot of water. I was cutting coupons earlier. I have a friend who's about to teach me how to do this because who doesn't want to be stocked up on all the good stuff? Like, as far as topics go, that's all I've got for you. I know I've rambled on for too long. Um, I am going to go ahead and get into a skin flick. Let's see my skin. Oh, God, you guys. Okay, so here is my fabulous outfit for today, which looks amazing. Just so you know. So I can definitely tell I always look good in these kinds of skirts um, because they pleat out over my belly, which, you know, here if I pull it in, that's my belly. And don't worry, I'm wearing shorts today, so um, I'm going to go ahead and just oh, do this to you. This is my belly. See? My pouch. This is the pouch I have. See, I'm at a weight that I would, in high school, be able to wear my old high school jeans. But because I've had kids and I got this part going on, the most I can wear is something a little high-waisted. So, my thighs, let me see, let me see, are definitely, my, I've always had great legs, okay, so... Like, I'm not complaining about my legs. The only part is this. Like, right here. My arms have always shrunk back really well, so I'm not really worried about that. So, this is my back part over here. So, I would really like this part to go down, which, without my bra, it's definitely like bat wings back there so and these are my scars so it's just one two three let me see there's one here four and then there's one here and here but these have pretty much gone I just have these three that are the darker which this one's gotten so tiny you can't even see but these two are my worst I've always had a double chin, so, you know, it'll go away when I'm like 150 pounds or something, because it never wants to go away. But, thank you for watching and putting up with my rambling, you know I love you guys, and thank you so much for all your support, uh, like the video, subscribe, comment, let me know what's up, um, I'd love to hear from you, so I'll talk to you guys later, bye!